guys, welcome to this new channel. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet, so I cannot say. But this is going to be a new channel about me talking about animals and things like that. Mostly animals, because I love animals and I love to find information about them. Um, I might also do some videos about plants and nature. I love nature. So I just, that sh I just want to put that out there. This is what this channel is all about. But today I, I got these RSPCA cards and I'm just going to read, I'm just going to be reading them today on camera because they just look really interesting and yeah, so let's get started. This Welcome Swallow, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I think that's how you pronounce it. It's in the birds family. On the back, it says its place of origin is Australia. That will focus, 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 please. So it'll not focus, but here's a little pe picture of it. And now I'm going to read the back. So, did you know Welcome Swallows builds nests out of mud and grass attached to the vertical sides of cliffs? Hmm. And it says, did you also know ancient swallows were thought to have entered a state of torpor, a deep hibernation during cold winter months which they spent frozen underwater whoa what oh finally it's focusing now so place of origin it's really well made card so that's pretty interesting they spent frozen underwater I can't, I can't, I, I can't get my head around that, but that's just what they say, so. Okay, next one we have is another one from the birds family, and it's a glossy black cockatoo. Focus. Sorry for the glare. And on the back, it says that its place of origin is Australia. And it says, did you know glossy blacks are completely black in colour except for their wide red band around their tail feathers? Mm. And so did you also know adults cockatoos grow to be over 50 centimetres tall? Whoa. I'm just going <laughs> to... Okay, so I got some rulers. Now what does that say again? 50 centimetres tall. Let's try and measure that up. And that's upside down. Oh no, it's not. Okay, whatever. So, we have one ruler, 30 centimeters. Another ruler. Whoa. That is pretty high. You can't even see that on camera. But it's basically the length of these two rulers because this one's a little bit broken, so it only goes up to 22. So, it's not going to focus. I'm shaking really much. It only goes up to 22, but it's close enough. So that's pretty tall. I'll get a sec. The next one we have is from the horses and ponies, and it's a Gotland, Gotland pony. So the place of origin is in Sweden, and it says, did you know these ponies are from the small island of Gotland, of the south coast of Sweden. It is the only pony native to Sweden. Hmm. And did you also know Gotlands, Gotlands are popular for children because they are quick learners and very easy to train. Hmm. They look pretty cute. Okay, we have this. Whoa, this is really weird but we have this velvet worm it's an arthropod and uh, just let it focus focus please okay whatever it is play its place of origin is the tropics and it says did you know velvet worms are like worms with tiny feet they have many legs what Hang on. They have many legs, slime glands, and several 
antenna. They hunt prey using sticky glue sprayed out of their tubes on their head. That is very weird. But did you also know velvet worms like to live in dark humid? Humid. I cannot speak. Humid places such as moss cushions, leaf litter, under tree trunks and stones, rotting wood, and abandoned termite tunnels. I did not read that good. But that's it. That picture of Tropics is really pretty. Again, sorry for the glare. But look at those. They're a bit weird. Then we have this next arthropod, which is a land hermit crab. And this one, its place of origin is the Indo-Pacific. Hermit crabs need to move into a bigger shell to continue growing. A crab will not abandon its, its shell until it has secured a replacement. When a new bigger shell comes available, hermit crabs will gather around it and form a line from smallest to largest. When the largest crab moves into the new show, shell, the second biggest crab moves into the newly vacated, vac, vac, vacated, vacated, I don't know, vacated shell, thereby making its previous shell ab available to the third hermit crab, and so on. That's pretty cool. I wish that's what happened in real life. You just like line up in front of a house, <laughs> and then like when you're the biggest person, you get this mansion. That'd be so funny. Um, and hermit crabs often gang up on hermit. Hermit crabs often gang up on a hermit crab, who they perceive to have a better shell. They will pry it away from them and then compete for it. Actually, I wish that did not happen in real life. <laughs> so that's that one. Oh, this thing is really annoying. Okay. Now we have a doggy, and look how cute this little one is. It's a fox terrier smooth goat. Its place of origin is England, and it says, Did you know the smooth fox terrier's historic job was to guide hunters to foxes who allowed the foxies barking? Hmm. A care tip is smooth fox terriers love the attention they get when they are being groomed. Grooming is a good opportunity for a dog and owner to bond. Those things are cute. Now we have another dog, and this one is a curly coat retriever. Oh my god, look how cute it is! And this one's also in England. And curly coats are considered one of the oldest retriever breeds and can be identified by the mass of tight curls covering their entire body. Hmm. And a care tip is curlies are very active dogs and especially love to swim. It'd be so cute when they're in the pool, like if they're in a pool and they're swimming, that'd be so cute. Then we have this card, which is Happy Endings. Hmm, I think that means like a story about a Pacific dog or a Pacific, a specific animal. I have two of those cards, but this one is for Oregano, Oregano I think. And Oregano. Oregano's new mum says she is the most loving and obedient dog. Oregano loves to run, especially in tall grass. She also enjoys sleeping, cuddling, and munching on a tasty bone. Oregano is a quiet, friendly, and curious pooch. Her mum is con convinced she was human in her previous life. <laughs> Look how cute that is. That's a really cute doggy. There, I cannot reach. Okay, good. There. Now we have another happy ending card, and this one's for Angelina and Squeaker. So, Angelina and Squeaker. From the moment they moved in, this duo made themselves right at home. Angelina and Squeaker love to nibble on tasty food and have taken a particular liking to grass. Bok choy, apples, and carrots. They also love to snuggle together in boxes and tunnels. Angelina follows Squeaker wherever she goes. They are best friends. Oh, that's cute. Look at them. I think they're guinea pigs. I don't know. They are, right? Yeah, they are. I don't know. Does it even say? 
I don't know. But there's those. So now moving on to reptiles and amphibians. So the first one we have is this crested gecko. I think that's how you pronounce it. Crested gecko. And here's a picture of it. Its place of origin is New Caledonia. Um, it says this species was thought extinct until it was rediscovered in 1994 after a turbulent tropical storm exposed them under some rocks. Did you also know crested geckos have hair-like projections found above their eyes which look like eyelashes. The crested refers to these unique crests of skin over their eyes. That's a bit weird. Look at them. Look at the weird things above their eyes. Weird. But those are those. And we have this pig nose turtle. If it will focus. And that's what it looks like. And it's a pig nose turtle. So its place of origin was, is Australia. And it says pig nose turtles are unique amongst Australia's freshwater turtles in their appearance. They have flippers for feet like marine turtles, the nose of a pig, and a cream-coloured shell. Turtles lay their eggs on sandy riverbanks. When the offspring are fully developed, they will stay inside the eggs in hibernation until conditions are suitable for them to live. Eggs can hatch with a sudden drop in air pressure, which signals approaching storms. So that was that one. Now we're going to the fish family, and the first one we have is this black, yeah, this black back butterfly fish. Its place of origin is the tropics, and it says, black, black back butterfly fish forms, form pairs to stake territorial claims on certain coral reef heads. A care tip is to watch your fish when you feed them to ensure that everyone is getting a share. This is also a good time to look for any signs of ill health. The next fish we have, and the last fish, is this Zebra Plocostomus. Not quite sure what that says, but Zebra Plocostomus. And its place of origin is Brazil, and zebra plecos come from the big bend in the Xingu, Xingu River in the Amazon forest. Their name relates to their zebra stripes, which makes them look like zebras. A care tip is zebra plecostomos need clear water and fast move and a fast moving current to survive. They cannot live in still or dirty water. Now I'm moving on to the cats, and I have lots of cats. I have, well, not many, but I have five, which is more than any others. So, the first cat we have is a British Shorthair. Its place of origin is the UK, of course, because it's British. And British Shorthairs are known for their big, chunky bodies and broad, wide face faces. A care tip is cats are carnivores and need animal protein to survive. In the wild, cats each eat the carcasses of prey animals they catch with consist of raw meat, raw bones and organs. Then we have, well this isn't actually, I don't think, oh well this is a Tiffany, I thought that was the name of the cat but it's actually the name of the breed. So this is a Tiffany. And its place of origin is the UK, and Tiffany's require regular grooming, which is a good opportunity for owner and cat to bond. Tiffany's expect their owners to dedicate a lot of time to them. They can be very vocal if they if they are alone and should not be left in apartments for long periods of time. Yeah. Well, they must want attention. <laughs> then we have this American short hair. And their place of origin is Europe. 
but they're Americans. I don't get that. Um, American short hairs were originally brought to America by the early settlers. They were used to protect cargo and values from rats on the first voyage voyages overseas. A care tip is raw food offered to cats should always be fresh and human grade. Cats enjoy variety in their diet just as much as we do. Now the last ones I have are actually both the same. So, um, it's a Samai, I think. And their place of origin is Somalia. And so, Somali, Somalis, Somalis, I don't know. Somalis have been known to have eight, 28 different types of colours. Whoa. And cats love hammocks. They love cosy spots where they feel warm, feel happy, basking in the warm sun. Huh. So, those are all the cards I got. I might get some more packs. I don't know. But right now, those are all the packs. Yeah, so, so those are all the cards I got. So, comment down below. What's your favourite animal and what was your favourite out of all, like, out of all these? Like, what was your favourite in appearance? So, I'll go through them. We have Samai, which is a cat. Oh, sorry about that. An American Shorthair cat. A Tiffany, which is a cat. A British Shorthair, which is a cat. A Zebra Plecostomos, which is a fish. A black back butterfly fish a pig nose turtle a well this this is a, um angelina and squeaker um a crested gecko a velvet worm a fox terrier smooth coat a land hermit crab A uh, curly coat retriever. A Gotland pony. A glossy black cockatoo. A welcome swallow. Or oregano. I would have to say that my favourite out of all these, I love them all so, so much. But I think my favourite is oregano. Just look how cute he is just sitting there. So that's my favourite. So comment down below yours and also comment down below your favourite animal. My favourite animal is a tiger, but I love all animals. All animals. So, yeah. And thanks for watching. Bye!